video is going to look at the process of design options. So design options will give you the ability to put on your model multiple um, designs within the same model. Um, so if we were looking at this, this is a basic building as you can see, uh, just a CMU structure, and we want to create different design options from within inside of it. So basically what we can do is we can come over here, we can go to our design options. If um, you're in a different version of Revit, uh, you can go over to the Manage tab, you can click on Design Options here. Uh, but with 2011 and up, you can click on the Design Options button right here, and it's going to allow you to begin to create design options. So you'll notice here we have an option set and we have an option. So our option set, we're going to click New, and it's going to give us option set 1 and our design option 1. Okay, you'll notice that the option set is the primary one and the option is the, the next one in line. So we can say rename, or we can rename our option set. So we can call it, um, just say, design 1. And we can call option 1. We can also make a new one, we can call it option 2. And we can make another one, and we can also leave these as just option three. Okay, so we have our options, and we can let's call this one uh, interior because it's going to be an interior uh, layout. And we'll go ahead and say close. Now, what you'll notice here is where we have our main menu, we have our three options. Okay, now you can draw your design options in regular view. Okay, so we can select these. We can start to draw our interior layouts of whatever we want. Okay. And again, I'm not worried about the exact layout of the of the item of the walls, because that's something that we can work on later. But we're just trying to create a layout. Okay. So now what we can do is we can select these and you'll notice as I select a wall, you'll notice down here this this button becomes active. And that is add to set. So I can select all these interior walls. Alright. And I can simply say add to set. Now it's going to ask me what set do I want to add them to. Alright. If we had multiple option sets, you would have multiple listings here. In our interior design set, we had options 1, 2, and 3. So we're going to uncheck options 2 and 3 and say OK. So now these walls are part of design option 1, OK, the primary layout. As you can see now, I can't select those. I can select my, in my exterior walls because that's my main model. All right. Whereas if I go to design option one, I can now select these walls. Okay. So I can come in here. I can add uh, doors to these. All right. And these doors now are part of design option one. Okay. So as we go through, we can create different design options. Now I can go right into my design options. So I can go to design option two, and you'll notice everything else disappears. So now I can go into there, and I can say, well, let's see. It's going to have a different layout. And again, I'm not worried about you know walls or anything like that. And spe specifically, right now, we can clean up those later. But the idea is is that you can create these design options um, with the mindset that you can add as much information to them, either going into each option or going and adding them after the fact. Okay.